During the baseball offseason, Kentwood's Nick Lentz got the call he's been dreaming of since he first umpired a Little League game. He was offered a full-time job as a major league ump. Right now, though, he's waiting out the coronavirus here at home. Sports director Jack Doles caught up with him. Nick Lentz has been umping games in the big leagues since 2016, but this year, if and when baseball returns, he'll be a full-time ump for the first time. Unfortunately, he's having to wait out the pandemic, and he's doing that from his home in Kentwood. Nick, strange question to start with. How much would you like to have a manager in your face yelling at you right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great that's a great question. Uh, it's never really enjoyable uh, to get into arguments and stuff like that. Uh, however, it does come with the job, and it's what I signed up for. So, uh, if things do come to that, then uh, we handle it accordingly and and move on. How do you get used to that? Having people yell at you and tell you you're wrong, or fans say you know colorful things. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I would just say. Uh, the, the years of experience you know we start off uh, the road to the big leagues is a long and, and tiring one you know we start in the low levels of the minor leagues and you know stuff's pretty rough uh, back then especially from you know our skill set our skill set uh you know we're just trying to get experience handle situations there's there's many situations that uh we mess up especially in the minors but we learn from them uh, through personal reflection, through our, our crew, our partners that we're working with, and then also our supervisors. I know umping in the minor leagues is not the most glamorous job. Low pay, <laughs> cheap hotels, constant travel. How did you get through that grind? Uh, you know, I always had the mentality of, you know, obviously it was my dream to make it to the big leagues. Uh, however, you know, with the numbers, I know they're not in my favor or anyone's favor for that matter. So it really just kind of broke down to becoming the best umpire I could be, learning from my mistakes, um, using the, the trials both on and off the field to, to grow as a person, grow as an umpire, and uh, moving that into the future, just trying to get better every day. That was kind of my motivation, um, but also the support of my family. Like you said, the conditions aren't always great. The pay's not great. Uh, but doing something that you love is, is uh, well worth way more than, you know, what your paycheck may be. So what's it like sharing the stage with players? There are nights you're calling balls and strikes for future Hall of Famers like, you know, Justin Verlander and Mike Trout. It's, it's hard to, to put into perspective for someone that's not familiar with the job or the, uh, the path it takes because... That's what it is. It is a job, and you come up with some of these some of these players. You know, they may be prospects and stuff like that that fast track to the big leagues, and then you see them up there. Um, I think at the end of the day, it's kind of uh, how, how would I put it? Kind of, you know, you're working together for for the industry and for the entertainment aspect. You know, America's pastime and stuff like that. So there's really no. Uh, in awe, you know, if you will. Mm -hmm. There is respect, obviously, for everyone in the big leagues, not even Hall of Famers, because they're very good at what they do. Um, but I think it's just kind of uh, coming up through the minors and start working in the big leagues. It's just kind of uh, your job at the end of the day, and you do it to the best of your ability. Last thing I know, UMPS catch a lot of flack from fans, but you have been very active with the UMPS Care Charity. Uh, how did you get involved with that? Why is that so important to you? Uh, it's important to me because it, it really uh, it puts everything into a lot of perspective. Um, you know, when we have our blue kids and we take them on the field, you know, some of them are our families with a, a terminally ill patient that can't get out a lot or um, are in financial trouble. Um, when we go into hospitals and we do the build a bear kids, it, it really does put everything into into perspective for you know, what we're doing and what we have as a job. 